recording now. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Review. This is Kim speaking on Thursday, the 6th of October. Looking at the euro dollar first, and it's much, much of the same, really. We, we're still consolidated between this, uh, in this um, wedge pattern. Yet again, yesterday, price didn't break out the highs there or lows there. So it, it makes it a, a difficult one to be trading. The ranges are tight. The average true range at the moment is dropped down to 64 pips. So it, uh, leaves little in the day unless you can uh, uh, get get the absolute tops or bottoms from this uh, looking at uh, the range so far we've done what 20 pips of it so uh, we've got 40 pips to run one way or the other yet or an extra 40 pips to run um, what's it looking at the moment erring towards the bearish side here it's already hit the daily pivot s1 looks like it's got a reasonable opportunity although it's just double bottomed here and we're seeing a bit of a bounce off this double bottom from yesterday's lows so um, if it breaks the lows well probably s1 s2 even potentially with the sort of range that we've got uh, lined up in front of us a break above the pivot make me a bit more bullish um, if we can if we can bounce from where we are now get above that pivot i'd be looking for a bullish side towards the r1 um, again it's not massive points there you're looking at uh, around about 20 pips between the uh, daily pivot and, and the R1 but if we could hold on for anything further uh, we'll see okay that's the euro let's uh, look at the pound so pound well selling off at the moment it's just uh, pushing on through the uh, uh, once again you see we're, we're looking like we were, well we could well set up a, some sort of divergence here maybe into the monthly uh, uh, RM2 uh, midi so uh, sorry SM2 MIDI here just below us there so there's a possibility of a divergence move at the moment it's looking pretty bearish already through the daily pivot there through the S or bouncing off the S1 chance it could break that S1 and maybe as I say push on um, to, to give us some sort of divergence uh, alternative here at the moment where it's already hit the S1 probability S1 and R1 not great although the, as you can see from the range yesterday it's probably as pinched as it's been probably hanging in there looking for tomorrow's data um, so uh, on that basis um, it, it could be yet another range bound day break of the upward trend well we haven't really haven't got a specific target that with the daily pivot being hit but uh, may, maybe um, we could see a run back up uh, towards yesterday's highs in the L1 not the clearest of mornings for, for me for the pound dolly yen Dolly Yen pushing up, just running into the daily 100, it looks like it to me. I've just uh, meant to look at it on a bigger chart just to see if that is actually... It's just fractionally short of that daily 100 at the moment, but looking to push into that daily 100 MA. Um, a bit messy from where it is here. It's extremed on the four hours. It looks like it's uh, pulled back and working up to run into that uh, uh, monthly... Uh, R1 sort of area at the moment which may give a bit of a divergence or well, potentially will give divergence if it does it um, we've got an untouched daily pivot below us um, a break of the trend there down back towards that may be a possibility we're pretty close to double topping here uh, and again we've probably got divergence actually I'll look back on that 40 minute it's not actually it's not so clear that the, well, the double tops actually in the current four hours so whoops wrong bar uh, page there we go yeah so the, the double tops in the in the current four hour session so at the moment as I say the bit of sort of divergence there that may just bring it down back down towards that uh, daily pivot dollar yen Aussie dollar so Aussie dollar selling off here uh, broken through the monthly pivot looking more bearish than before um, it's not a lot to add on the uh, dailies there or it's lower highs lower lows are confirmed on the four hourlies um, already hit daily pivot s1 um, there is some possible further downside here down but uh, it's looking like it's trying to put a bit of bottom a bit of a bottom in at the moment again having hit the daily pivot uh, uh, s1 for me it becomes a bit more difficult because the targets are not so clear but if we do see a break of that uh, 60.21, well, we could be a bit more positive, I guess, and look for some sort of bounce. But uh, the bigger picture really is, at the moment, looking like it's favouring the downside. 
Okay, I'm finally Canadian dollar, which I'm hoping I've got all on here. Yeah, there we go, it's just going to have a quick look at what all's up to. Not that it's had the, the same sort of correlation. So yesterday we came within a fraction, uh, by the looks of it, of uh, $50 a barrel. Uh, still looking pretty strong on oil at the moment, but uh, could be pushing up a bit more there. Just have a look at the short term. Short term's dipping off a little bit, already hit the pivot. Maybe we could see the S1 hit, so maybe some downside on oil to come for short term at least. I was very bearish on the Canadian dollar, but it's not really worked through the benefits of the strong price of oil. Uh, with the uh, stronger dollar, it's really affected the Canadian dollar at the moment, and uh, being, as I say, mainly been pushing up. Yesterday we had a small down day, I would have expected much more, bearing in mind at $50. Um, last time um i was sitting around 50 dollars i think the canadian dollar was significantly lower okay um so at the moment it's still well from this four hourly we put in higher lows higher highs in um marginal divergence there on that uh by yesterday yesterday's midday bar uh bit of divergence but uh at the moment it's still looking like it could push higher uh again already hit the daily pivot as the possibility if, if it uh continues to run uh, to the upside uh, of well of pushing in towards the R1 at the moment looking at the pattern here if uh, if we can get a break of the trend I quite like the downside here to maybe down towards that S1 but uh, really depending on what it's doing if it's already possibly pulling back for a continuation to the upside well not going to get that let me just have a look on the 50 and switch this to a 15 minute chart just see watch the pattern here Okay, um, not really giving me a lot of idea. It may be giving a, a, a bit of a, a retracement for a continuation, but uh, not totally clear there at the moment, but uh, this is certainly a possibility. One thing's for sure though, the hourly bar with only 15 minutes to go doesn't look particularly bright if you were looking to buy into that. Okay, um, that's pretty much it for me. So a bit of, uh, uh, well, as I say, market's lacking a bit of clarity today. In terms of news, we haven't got much in the way of news today. We've got the ECB's uh, monetary policy minutes out, uh, meeting accounts out at 12.30. Don't expect too much action from that. And then uh, later on, we've got the um, uh, Canadian building permits, not really a mover. Um, US un weekly unemployment claims. This one does sometimes gives a little bit more of a bit of volatility at 1.30 there, but not great. Uh, which is really leaving us all lined up for tomorrow's non-farm payrolls and uh, I think with the markets we could well consolidate leading to that. Now the probability is increasing or the, the expectations are increasing for an interest rate increase at the next meeting. So um, a, a good non-farms tomorrow uh, may see uh, markets rally quite significantly. Uh, likewise a disappointing figure, well whether they will uh, um, I say rally, uh, rally in favour of the dollar that is um, if, if, if a disappointing figure may just consolidate as opposed to, uh, as opposed to anything else but we'll see. Okay that's it for me, have a great day, bye for now.